Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial, we had discussed about the how to take JDBC connection, right, using MySQL database. So that was just a theoretical discussion. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you uh, how we can take I mean, JDBC connection using MySQL uh, database uh, through an example. So here I have created a project with name JDBC DB connection demo and I have created two class one is client program which holds the main method and second is the DB, DB util and I have kept in the util package so let's uh, try to write a code to take JDBC connection using MySQL so in this utility class I'm going to write first of all a static block so after certain while I'll explain you why a static block now before that before declaring static block let's declare some uh, a static final property right so private static final and these are the properties as a string now i'm going to copy this constant four times so first of all you need to take db uh, driver name db uh, database driver class driver class sorry So that driver class you will find in the uh, MySQL connector jar. So MySQL connector jar I have added in my class path. If you expand MySQL connector, then you get the package is called com.mysql.jdbc. If you expand this jar, then you'll get a <coughs> class <coughs> dot class. Sorry, uh, that is called driver dot class. So let's copy this qualified name of this driver class, and this is your. Uh, driver class name in case if you are using mysql mysql database in oracle we have oracle driver and you need to add the oracle jar in uh, your class path like ojdbc14 dot jar but we are using mysql so mysql driver class you have to specify uh, as a qualified class name right now next thing uh, i would say db username right and in this case db username is root so that i'm going to assign to this string constant again we have a db password so while installing the mysql password whatever password you had given same you have to give over here so in my case i had given root itself and finally you have you need to specify the db url or url db url so you need to see that documentation of underlying data source how you can form uh, your db url so here i'm going to write uh, jdbc colon mysql colon slash slash local host colon 3306 slash jdbc db right so this is my database url now now in this static block i'm going to use a class it's a class which belongs to the java.lang package so you can see and class is having a static method is called for name and here i'm going to pass my driver class name so this will basically uh, load the driver uh, at runtime into the memory or you can say register the driver at runtime right so that's why and this should happen only once right that, that's why i have written in the static block now uh, you can declare like private static and connection sorry there should be a small connection and that I have declared the top not right and here I am going to take connection from the driver manager so again driver manager is a class right and which is having a method is called get connection that there are three methods right so I am going to show you how to use these three methods so first of all let's start with this so here first of all you need to specify the DB URL 
so that already we have assigned in a constant so that i'm going to assign now db username second constant so db username and we have a db password so all those three steps we have passed as a method argument right and this guy is throwing some exceptions so let's add exception in the existing clause if you using jdk 1.7 and above then you can handle more than one exception in the single catch block like this so now uh, let's your static block is going to finish over here now let's create a public static method that is called also a factory method and return type return type would be connection object itself so connection and method name i would say get connection right sorry and this guy is going to return you the connection object pretty straightforward so let me explain you here i have on the top of the class i have declared some constant as a uh, static final right so final variable is static why is static because i'm going to use these variables inside the static block private because i want to restrict access of this constant within the class itself final once i assign some value uh, nobody can assign another value to this constant and this is a static data type so that's why it's static right and as per the convention we should always write a constant in capital letter so that's why i have followed this those convention so all required uh, database information i have declared on the top of this class now i have declared a static connection variable on the top of the class which is also private so that we can use this variable inside the static context now class dot for name i have passed uh, uh, database driver name with qualified package name and that's register the driver at the runtime now java 6 onwards this is this line is not uh, anymore required but uh, to write this line is it's a better practice i would say so always we should register our driver like this class dot for name now connection um, now driver manages a class which is provides you some factory method get connection which uh, ask you to supply three parameters first database url then username and password right and this returns you the connection and same connection i am going to return when client program will call dbutil dot get connection because it's a static method then uh, first of all this a static block will be executed right so once this class is loading into the memory then if we, there is any static block then that static block will be loaded into a memory if uh, more than one static block then uh, there is one more than one static block then the execution of static block or loading of those static block will occur in the sequence as uh, exist in the uh, uh, that will follow the order as exists in the source code so here there is only one static block so this will be loaded at the uh, class loading time itself and uh, uh, when you call get connection from client program then this this uh, would have been created right and that is going to return to the client program right so here how we have prepared db, db url so jdbc here is easily literal has some meaning like jdbc means it's, it represents the jdbc api itself we are using jdbc api second literal represents the database or rdbms name so here we are using mysql so mysql now localhost is a is a machine name where your mysql server is running so i have installed mysql server on the same machine so that's why i have given localhost if you are trying to connect remotely then uh, your the host name host name of that machine where your mysql server is running or you can uh, specify the ip address of that machine uh, on which uh, that mysql is installed 3306 is the port number of your mysql server and jdbc db is a uh, database schema which i have created uh, in my uh, mysql itself so if you uh, write a so databases uh, it's a sql command and uh, sorry so databases then this is gonna sorry this should turn it with so so databases so this is going to return your databases so here i have created a jdbc db so same scheme i am using here here now let's go to the client program and here i'm going to call dbutil dot get connection and this will return us the connection object itself and here i'm going to check if connection is not null 
then I'm gonna print JDBC connection is taken now if I run it and see I'm getting this message means uh, we got the connection successfully now I'm going to copy this dbutil and I'm, I'm going to create another class dbutil2 and here I'll show you another method right so we have another uh, get connection method right so overloaded method which takes two parameter first parameter is the database URL itself right database URL and second parameter is the properties so properties is a just like a map which holds key value pairs but here I'm going to this property usually uh, takes key value pair as a string so here you can put username and password by calling its put method in this property so I would say key is nothing but the user you say predefined you will have to write user and the username is constant you can assign as a value and similarly you can uh, put password in this properties as well so here you will have to write password this is also predefined you need to write password and password is here itself right and now this map this property property is object you need to pass it over here and you'll get the connection so it's pretty straightforward now what i'll do in my client program so i would say db util 2 and connection 2 connection 2 right will have to import it because that is in another package and if I run it then see we are getting connection by calling this method as well right so this is the second method I have used uh, now if we look into the another method so I am going to create dbutil3 and here we have another one more method which takes only one parameter as a URL so here URL you need to combine all those three stuffs right so here db url here you will have to write db url plus and here you will have to write a question mark then plus uh, you need to write uh, you need to write user equals to db username something like this again uh, you will have to write uh, am, uh, am percent and you need to write uh, password equals to uh, db password something like that so you need to concat all those things all those three stuff into single so let me check out what went wrong Okay, sorry, this should not be there. Now we have concatenating everything in single string, and here if I go and I can call this is third db util. So three, you can take three, and let's import this guy as well, and let's say three, and if you run it. So saying that something wrong so while making the URL we made some mistake so here question mark then we are going to username user equals we are going to assign this then ampersand and password db password so everything seems to be fine. Oh here you need to pass db user name okay. now let's try it out now we get connection third time as well right so i hope you understood uh, how to take connection using all those three get connections methods so this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in the video description itself so see you in the next video tutorial and thanks for watching this video